To prep Roxy skin, I'm going to use the Tarte Maracuja Oil. This is great for more mature skin tones because it's super, super moisturizing. And I feel like it's best when you pat it into the skin instead of rubbing it around. It just helps it soak up a lot better. Taking my Makeup Forever HD Concealer, I'm placing this all over her eyelids. This is going to help prep for the shadow we're going to use next. It just helps kind of make it so it's like a fresh canvas to work on and everything can blend seamlessly. And then I'm taking this Stamp Beauty Blender. This is the mini one. It just helps get into all the little lines and helps smooth it all out so we don't have any creasing later on. Taking this super light pink color from my Tartlet in Bloom palette, I'm going to place this all over her eyelids. This is going to help the next shadows we're going to apply blend a little bit easier instead of just placing it directly over the concealer. Now dipping into the next tan color, I'm just going to place this right into her crease. This is going to add just a little bit of warmth and depth to her eye. Now going in my chocolate bar palette, I'm taking this kind of warm peachy orangey color and I'm placing that directly above. I like it to kind of fade up towards the top and this color just adds a little bit more warmth and helps the next color blend a little bit easier. You can take any kind of pinky purpley shimmer color and I like to add a little bit of Fix Plus onto my brush. It just helps give it that more metallic-y feel. I zoomed you in a little bit so you can really see the finish on this color. It's just so, so pretty and it just draws the whole look together. Also, you can see that I'm not swiping my brush all around. I'm kind of tapping and pressing it into the skin and then taking this darker color and also stamping that into the outer corner of the eye. This is going to give her eyes just a little bit of depth and definition. And then taking the side of the brush, you can feather that into that metallic-y pink color and then bring it right into the crease of the eye. Depending on how dark you want this look to go, you can add more and more. I didn't want to take it too dark since she does have a deeper set eye. And now I'm just placing it into the corner of the eye and then connecting it up top. This is going to create almost like a halo eye. This way when she opens her eye, you're just going to see that little pop of shimmer right in the center, which just really draws you into the eye. The key to this look is just to blend, blend, blend. This way you don't have any harsh lines and it all just comes together. Now that we've applied that dark color, I'm just going back in with a more highlighting color. This is Becca Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill. And I'm just placing this directly on the center of the eye. I did wet my brush again with Fix Plus. As you can see, it just amps up the volume of that metallic -y look. Now taking any kind of soft pencil you have, just line the upper waterline and the lash line. And this is just going to make the lashes appear a little bit more full since we are going to apply false lashes. And I do like to keep it a little on the messy side just to smoke it out a little bit. We don't want anything too, too precise. This next step is optional, but sometimes I like to go in with a liquid liner and just really, really tightly line that upper lash line. It helps the individual lashes I'm going to apply just kind of blend a little bit easier into the lash line. Using the YSL Shocking Mascara, I'm going to coat every individual lash, and we did curl her lashes before this. If your client is not comfortable with you curling their lashes, you can just easily ask them if they would like to do it. And this way, it just gives the individual lashes I'm going to apply right now a more seamless look. And this way, you don't have to add too much mascara at the very end. Now, once I get the glue tacky enough, I'm going to place each individual lash right on top of her natural lashes, leaving just a small space in between for a more natural look. For primer, I'm using the Jane Iredell Smooth Affair, and I'm just placing this all over her face so we have a nice clean canvas to work on. Today, I'm using the Dior Forever Foundation. I really love this stuff, and I just started using it not too long ago, but I feel like it kind of gives that light, airy, skin-like texture to the face, and I just love how it comes out. You can use whatever type of brush or sponge you're more comfortable with. 
I like to place it onto the face first with a beauty blender so I don't use too much and then buff it in with my brush. And you can see I'm just quickly getting it all over and then I'll be going back in with my beauty blender just to kind of blend it a little bit more and remove any excess product. When doing foundation on my clients, I love putting it down the neck and onto the ears because the neck and the face tend to just be a little bit more pale than the rest of the body. And then I go in with my beauty blender and this is where I remove any excess product. Using the same concealer I used to prime her eyes, I'm placing that directly below her eyes only where she needs it. I don't like to apply too much product because this is where your eyes get the most dry and cakey. So I feel like less is more and I really like to blend this out. For concealer, you can either place this on using a brush, a beauty blender, or your finger. I like to use a brush first so I can place it directly where I want it. And then I like to go in with either my finger or my beauty blender to blend it out. Using that small beauty blender, I like to just tap it into the skin and this can take you like five minutes on its own because I love to just blend it together, mix it in with the foundation and really, really make sure there are no harsh lines and it's super seamless. To set the under eye, I'm just using a little bit of banana powder by Ben Nye. As you can see, I literally just used a little bit and now I'm going in with a brush to wipe off the excess. Taking this nude color from my Naked 3 palette, I'm placing that directly underneath the eye, all the way to the inner corner. Now taking a slightly darker shade, I'm going to place this right from the outer corner to the middle of her eye, just to add a little bit of depth. Now going in with an even darker color, I'm taking this just from the outer corner to the middle of her eye, and then smoking it out. This is gonna give a little bit more of that kind of darker, smokier, sexy type of look. And now it's time to shape the face. Eyebrows are so important, and I feel like a lot of people tend to overdo them nowadays. All you really need to do is just fill in where they're missing and give it a slightly kind of more defined look. This will help it all come together. Now going in with bronzer, I'm just patting this all over her face and I do like to pat before I swipe around. This way I really set in the product right where I want it. Now tapping the bronzer into the side of the face, I like to just do kind of more circular motions instead of a just hard kind of swipe. This way it's just really, really soft and seamless and I can place it directly where I want it. Now taking a bigger fluffier brush, I'm placing that kind of all around her face just to blend everything together. Taking a few different shades from this BH Cosmetics blush palette, I'm placing that directly on the apples of her cheeks and then blending it back towards her temples. I'm just quickly taking a clean brush and swiping everything together so it just blends seamlessly. Now taking the Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill Highlighter, Placing that only where I want it, which is right on the cheekbones, and then I'm going to place a little bit down the bridge of her nose, right in the center of the forehead, the cupid's bow, and anywhere else that I want it to just really stand out and pop. Now taking the same bronzer shade, going down the side of her nose, this is one of Roxy's favorite things. We love contouring her nose. It just gives a nice kind of slimming effect, and it looks amazing in photos. Using Whirl by MAC, I'm going to just lightly line her lips and then apply the Tom Ford Jillian lipstick all over using an applicator. This way I can really kind of sheer it out and make it look a little bit more natural. To finish the entire look, I'm spraying her whole face with this Rose Water Spray by Mario Badescu. I love the way this feels and it just gives a nice hydrated dewy look to the face. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Until next time.